Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today in this video we are going to talk about blog topic ideas for beginners and I'm going to tell you how you can start blogging profitably in 2021. Now starting a blog was the best decision I ever made. It allowed me to work from home, it allowed me to handle my responsibilities at home with no compromise at all and also make a full-time living with it, a full-time income. Now let me tell you one thing at the, at the very outset. It is not an easy thing to build a blog that makes enough money to call it a full-time income. Now, before we move, move ahead and talk about blog topic ideas for beginners, there is something that I want to share about my journey as a blogger. Now, I stumbled upon blogging as a work from home option in 2015. I read about it and started my first ever travel blog in 2016. Now, within six months of blogging, I quit. It was so overwhelming to understand what is right, what is wrong, what I should do or what I shouldn't do, etc. I quit within six months and of course it made me no money at all. This is when I started working out as a freelance writer. Now, if you want to become a freelance writer, you can check out my video on how to become a content writer, which I did recently. You can find the link up top. Now, fast forward in June 2018, I revamped the blog and decided to share my experience of moving from a good paying nine to five job to becoming a full-time freelancer. Now, I talked about freelancing and writing, which resonated with people because it had a lot of personal experience in it. A few months later, I broadened the scope to include other work from home options as well because not everyone wants to write. Now, let me tell you one thing. This wasn't a decision made in hurry or decision made just because of my liking. I researched for months, almost a month, on whether or not I can monetize this niche in a manner which can make me money passively. So, I'm going to share how you can research blog topic ideas for beginners which are profitable and also share a list of blog topic ideas that are definitely, definitely profitable in 2021. Now let's begin with how to research blog topic ideas and how to find out whether or not they are profitable. Now first thing that I want you to do is to take a pen and a paper and divide it into four boxes. Now in the first box, we are going to write down everything that we know or like. So what do I mean by that? If you know about anything more than any other person or if there is something your friends, your family members reach out to you for, then write that down. It could be anything. It could be baking, cooking, sewing, painting, sketching, savings, couponing, cars, bikes, crafts, organization, etc. Diet plans, anything you like. This is basically an exercise to figure out what you like, what you can write about, and what you would love to write about. Now in the second box, which is right next to the first box, we will write down all the profitable niche topic ideas you can find online. So just Google type in profitable blog niche ideas for 2021 and start your research there. Now note down everything from there that you're interested in and would love to write about. Now in the third box, you will have to do a bit more work. I want you to analyze and see the overlap between the first and the second box. Is there anything of your interest? Is there a passion you have, your hobby that overlaps with a niche that is known to be profitable? Now, remember that this is not as straightforward as it sounds like right now. So, for example, you will find parenting as a very profitable niche everywhere. But you can stick to writing about parenting teens or parenting toddlers or any certain age kids or just write about activities to engage kids of certain age. Now, another example would be lifestyle. Now, lifestyle is known to be a profitable niche, but it is extremely broad. But lifestyle could mean a lot of things. But And you can stick to parts of it. So you can write about travel, fashion, outfits, etc. Now, in my case, the broader niche that I came across was personal finance. Now, personal finance is something which can include making money, saving money, budgeting, investments, debts, retirement planning, etc. and so many other things. So in the third box, you will write the overlapping niches. If you have investment in the first box in personal finance in the second, for example, in the third box, you can write personal finance hyphen investments, parenting hyphen toddlers, something like that. Okay. For you to understand the broader niche and the niche that you're interested in writing about. Now we get to the fourth and the final box. Now I want you to install a Moz bar. Start with the first uh, item on your list. Let's say parenting hyphen toddlers. So the first niche uh, we are going to talk about is a parenting toddler blog. So I have the Moz bar installed here. Um, 
could switch that on. So here. So what we are looking for, just a second, log into Moz. Yes. Uh, so we are looking at parenting toddler blogs and this is how the Moz bar will tell you about a domain authority. Now domain authority basically tells you how big the website is or how new the website is. So it is going to help you out find uh, blogs that are pretty new and so, so you can look at the monetization strategy whether or not they're working with an ad company, what kind of products they are promoting, what kind of products they are selling and gauge whether or not it is profitable okay so let's start so all this you we are looking at something which is below 30 so let's see there is something called parenting toddlers Or let's look at how to parent toddlers without yelling so that we come across exactly what we are looking for so today's parent is a very big uh, website parents is a very big website so you can see there is Cory at home There is messy motherhood. There is painting from the hard blog. There is uh, parentalquestions.com. Let's look at each one of them for a moment. There is parenting toddlers. So while it does look like a blog, I'm not going to consider it because uh, it looks too old fashioned. Also, let's look at Cory at home. So this looks like the perfect blog. So she talks about self-care, homemaking and working at home. So how to effectively discipline your toddler without yelling. You can see that She's working with Mediawine, which is a great company to work with for advertising. Now let's move. Let's scroll down and see. So what you can do is to click on this pencil and click on no followed. Okay, so I'll tell you why we do this. So most of the affiliate links uh, that I use are supposed to be no followed. So it's an easier way to see whether something, whether, whether they're uh, promoting something looks like they're not, but uh, here is a disclosure which uh, talks about Amazon Associates. So uh, she does um, promote products from Amazon or from where she would earn commission. So that's a good start. So you can monetize your blog with Amazon affiliates. You can monetize your blog with Mediavine, which seems like a good start. Let's look at Messy Motherhood. So learn how to stop yelling to be a happier mom. She has a blog post. She works with Elite Cafe Media Family and Parenting Publisher. Uh, Elite Cafe Media Family is also a decent advertising company to work with, though I am a big promoter of Ad Thrive and Media Wine only. Parenting from the Heart blog is another one. Talks about pregnancy and babies, parenting toddlers, young children, tweens and beyond education. So 
let me just so they are working with media wine so they they're an exclusive member of media wine family i can't find any uh, affiliate link here but uh, let me just so this post contains affiliate links as an amazon associate i earn from qualifying this is how you need to conduct a search on on your final options and see whether you can monetize it whether there are options to monetize it and whether there are newer blogs that are doing this because if there is a newer blog which is working you can see advertisements on it you can see that they are working with ad thrive or they are working with media wine they're definitely definitely make let's do another one so you know how this gets done in different niches so we'll do personal finance hyphen saving saving money okay so now let's uh, do this for the personal finance for, uh, personal finance saving money niche so let's uh, look at how to save money um from salary every month let's try this out so we are looking for smaller blocks as of now so let's see arts and budget seems like one and i know the person um, like i've been following the person who owns arts and budgets and it's an amazing blog so let's look at it so it's latasha's blog and i've been following her for a while and there is a lot you can learn from her as well so she talks about making money saving money make money blogging now she has all sorts of monetization on her blog so she sells courses she of course has affiliate links and uh, she also works with media wine so those three are the best monetization strategies and uh, that is digital products that is advertising and affiliate marketing and she does all of them so uh, on the outset itself you know that personal finance is a profitable niche that save if you write about saving money um it's a profitable niche so let's uh, look at a blog which is more balanced and which is more about saving money so let me let me try to find it out for you let's look at how to save money with less salary maybe we'll get something so there is something called families for financial freedom we are going to look at that I'm going to uh, look at get money rich and we are going to look at frugal mom guide so frugal mom guides the most of the things that she writes about is about frugal living saving money and everyday life so you can see uh, that her blog is monetized with media wine you can see that she has a disclosure for affiliate links that means that she does affiliate marketing as well and she earns from it so let's just scroll down a little bit and see if i can find an affiliate link so rakutan is an affiliate link so again i could find only one link anyway let's go on her home page and see if okay so she has a shop too that means she's selling products of her own as well and she has monetized through selling um you can see there are printables and binders and meal planners that she's selling so great so you know that um her blog is making money similarly if you're looking at families for financial freedom they are uh, talking a lot about spending less christmas and starting a blog saving investments and in family finance again let's see what so they are working with media wine you can see it here they are of course doing affiliate marketing and i don't think she has a shop but it's a 
good start anyway because you're not going to be selling digital products at the, at the outset itself uh, you will be doing a lot of content writing in the beginning and the first two things that you can do is to get monetized with affiliate marketing and then with ads so so that's how you do your uh, research and figure out whether or not a particular niche that you want to write about is profitable you find blogs that are exactly about what you want to write you look at their blog you look for income reports you look for um, what uh, advertising companies they're working with what kind of products they're promoting what kind of products they're selling and you will know whether or not it is profitable a few things you will need to consider while doing this research um is basically to look at which ad company these com uh, these blogs are look working with do they have affiliate links and what kind of products they are promoting do they even have products that they are promoting do they have sponsored posts are they selling products of their own do they have any ebook courses etc now once you have done all this research you will have a few options in the box in in box 4 of your sheet now select the one that you find the most interesting and the one which makes you really really happy and you can write about for days to come because you will be writing about it for a very very long time so besides profitability what you need to see is your interest as well now i will share a few blog topic ideas for 2021 which i know are definitely profitable there are a few blog uh, topic ideas for beginners which are profitable right now and they are first anything that is related to technology and that's called technology related blogging technology is dynamic with developments happening every single day now people are always looking to get updates on um, launches and changes in technology so if you are interested in writing about um, uh, say wordpress mobile apps operating systems laptops mobile games etc you can go ahead with it it is definitely profitable second one is digital marketing now digital marketing is trending and more and more businesses are adopting it and making a shift towards it now there are so many advancements happening in this field every day that you have so much to write about so if you know anything about copywriting content marketing seo influencer marketing etc this is a very profitable blog topic idea for 2021 now the third one is personal finance which is my personal favorite this is there is a lot to write in personal finance like i already mentioned you can write about saving money debt investment stock market retirement planning and so much more each one i said can be a blog topic idea in itself so decide what you're good at and what you would love to write and go ahead with that now the fourth one is motherhood and children this is also an extremely broad blog topic idea under it you can talk about parenting kids of specific age homeschooling activities pregnancy breastfeeding etc now besides that there are several other topic ideas uh, blog topic ideas for beginners like video games bio wine car bikes productivity self improvement tiny homes home automation security systems hiking rving marriage dating cryptocurrency cooking baking couponing social media education career fitness diet plans yoga crafts diy and i can go on and on because i've researched on it so much so this is it for today guys um, these are all the blog topic ideas for beginners in 2021 and how to go ahead finding a niche that, that you love. Hope this helps you out and if you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comment section below. I respond to all, my comment, all the comments that I get. You can also see a video on the screen where I talk about how I make money online which can really help you out with next steps and understanding monetization strategy for a blog. So go ahead, watch that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys. Click on the red icon below and I'll see you next week. Tada! Bye-bye.